Hey guys, welcome back to Bible Fun with the Nuns. Today we're studying 1 Chronicles chapter 26. Let's get started. Okay, so 1 Chronicles chapter 26 is another one of these names chapters. So in chapter 24, it talked about the division of those who would serve as priests. In chapter 25, it talked about the division of those who would serve as worship leaders and singers. But in chapter number 26, it talked about those who would serve in the job of what? Um, security guards. Security guards, basically. That's what it means when it says they're gatekeepers. Now, I want you to just understand this. The, the gates around the city and around the temple area, those gates were, they had people stationed at those gates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Somebody was always there. Why? Because worship is a full-time job. It's not something we do on special days of the week or on holidays. Worship is not something we do. Worship is something we, we are. We are worshipers. And so you've got priests, you've got singers, now you've got doorkeepers. Now, John came across an interesting word. We just, we just kind of had a, a conversation about this. John, what kind of people were they looking for in this? It said that they were looking for able people. Okay, so what does it mean that they were able? So in the security guards, like, so for the security guards, they had to be strong to be able to be a security guard. Okay, so in, in our conversation earlier, we just went back to the other to the other chapters. So in order to be a priest, you had to be from a certain line and a certain family, and you had to know the law. You had to keep the law. You had to work the law. You had to be teacher of the law. So you had to, you had to I mean, that had to be your area of expertise. But who do you think they chose to be the singers and the musicians? People whose talent was in what? Um, uh, singing. Singing and playing instruments. And so they were musically talented. Well, that seems to fit them. Well, what kind of old boy you think they're looking for to be a security guard? Tough. Yeah. Tough. So did they? Did they? Were they big? Mm -hmm. Were they strong? Mm -hmm. Did they have big muscles? Mm -hmm. Could they fight if they had to? Mm -hmm. Could they look at somebody and be like, "What you trying to get in here for?" Mm -hmm. You think they could do all that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what does that tell us about the worship of God? First, there was the priest who would take care of the sacrifices. There was the singers who would organize the praise, and then there was the guys who they just made sure everything went smoothly, okay? Now, here's how, here's how I remember this. I remember this from a personal story and a parable. So years ago, I had a guy tell me we were, we were, we'd gone on a trip and we were talking about ways people serve in the church. And he made a comment to me I've never forgotten. He said, you know, I will probably never, ever, ever teach a class. He said, I'm not a teacher. That's not my thing. I can't do it. I, I'm not, please don't call me to have to teach a class. He said, but if you ever need somebody to dig a ditch, he said, give me a call because I can do that. And what I thought was in that moment, I learned years ago, I learned that there is a, that, that just because your, your ministry is not where everybody notices doesn't mean it's not still a ministry. Now, let me tell you a parable from Jesus's life. Jesus told a story very early on to his disciples about a man who had a lot of farmland. And he went out one day and he found laborers. And he said, if you'll go out and work in my yard, I'll pay you a full coin. And they were like, great. And they went out to work and they worked all day. A couple hours later, the same guy went out. He saw more people sitting around. He's like, hey, if you guys go work out in my fields, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll pay you. And they were like, well, great. Well, then he kept going like hour after hour and he's finding more and more and more people. And he says, I'll just pay you what you're worth and you just kind of keep going. Well, by the end of the day, he starts with the guys who had only been there for like an hour and he gives them a full coin. And the next group, a full coin and a full coin and a full coin. Well, the guys who'd been working all day and everybody knew they'd been working all day. They were hot and sweaty and tired. They thought, surely he's gonna pay us more because he paid them what he promised us but we've been working all day, so surely we're more important and we get more money. And you know what he ended up giving them? One coin. One coin. And they were, you think they were happy or mad? Mad. They were mad. They thought, well, we worked harder and we should have. And, and, and Jesus told about the landowner and he said, hey, didn't we agree that we I were going to pay you one coin? They said, yes, well, we agreed, but they, they just got here. And he said, no, no, no. What did we agree to? And in that story, what we learn is that there are people who serve different ways for different times at different rates, but the master treats them all equally. In our lives, 
we love celebrities. We know their names. We know what they do. We know their talents. We know if they can throw a football or sing a song. And, 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 and we even know the people at church. We know the preachers and the teachers and the missionaries. But what this is saying is even these security guards were important. Everybody has a spot. At our church, we say every member is a missionary and every member is a minister. All of us are supposed to minister in some way. If you can sing, sing. If you can teach, teach. If you can be a security guard, be a security guard. If you can push a broom, push a broom. But however you are built to serve the Lord, then serve the Lord. All right? And so uh, we'll keep reading tomorrow. We're going to talk about the temple. And uh, it's really, really heating up. And uh, we'll see you then tomorrow. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.